Well, hello everybody and happy October to you. This is Angie the Coder and I don't know about you guys, but I love this time of year. Fall is one of my favorite times of the year and I especially enjoy Halloween. So if you feel the same way I do, I hope you'll enjoy the spooky themed video that I'm doing. I just wanted to jazz things up, make it a little bit more fun and um, give us a chance to talk about the new ICD-10 codes for poisoning. If you're interested in learning all about those codes and having a good time, grab your pumpkin spice latte, jump into a comfy chair, and let's get started. As usual, if I mention any source documents in the video, I will link them in the description box below the video. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the 2021 poisoning codes that were added to ICD-10, and those will be in your new code book that you should have on your desk already because the code book came out in October, and uh, so all of you guys should have that on your desk, and if you do, whip it out and let's take a look at it, and I'll, I'll walk you through some of these new codes. So, the first drug that we that uh, ICD-10 added poisoning codes for was the code the codes for fentanyl. Now, unless you have been living under a rock somewhere, you know what fentanyl is. You've heard of it because it stays in the news all the time because it's there's a serious epidemic of uh, people overdosing on fentanyl in this country. As a matter of fact, the CDC estimates that over 31,000 people died of fentanyl overdoses in 2018. Fentanyl is a synthetic narcotic pain medicine that is said to be anywhere from 50 to 10, 50 to 100 times stronger than morphine. So that's what makes it so dangerous. It's an extremely powerful drug in very small doses. So that's the first drug that we got new codes for. And the second code is tramadol. And you may have heard of this. Uh, it is sold as the drug Ultram, so you may have heard of it that way. Tramadol is another synthetic pain medicine. And then they've also added a code, a bunch of codes for other synthetic narcotics. So those are narcotics that don't fall into those categories or any other narcotic category. So that's, those are the three categories of new poisoning codes that we got. So before we talk about this too much, we kind of have to go back to the basics and do some definitions. And a lot of these definitions you can find in your ICD-10 guidelines, which are in the front of your code book. And I'll also um, link the guidelines in the bottom, uh, in the description box below this video, in case you want um, an electronic version of them. But let's go a few, over a few of these definitions. It'll just make it easier to discuss this as we go through the video. The first definition is poisoning. Now, a poisoning is when a drug is taken inappropriately. It's either given accidentally wrong or it's taken intentionally wrong, but it's not taken the way it's intended to be taken. So that's what a poisoning is. An adverse effect is when the drug is prescribed and taken appropriately, but the patient still has some kind of health adverse, adverse effect from it. So they have a reaction to it. Um, they have, you know, they have problems with it, but they did take it at the proper dose. It was prescribed properly and it was given properly and it was taken properly, but they still had an adverse effect from it. And then accidental, of course, just means that there was no malintent. Whatever, you know, if it's a, it's a poisoning, it was done accidentally. Either the patient accidentally took it wrong, the nurse accidentally gave it wrong, or the doctor accidentally prescribed it wrong. You know, it's an accident. And there are other things that could have happened too, but those are three of the three of the big ones. And then self-harm is, is exactly what it sounds like. It means the patient took the medicine wrong on purpose to hurt themselves. And assault, that category is when another person hurts the patient by giving them the drug inappropriately. Then we talk about the, the encounters. So an initial encounter is when the patient first comes in for treatment. It's during the first phase of the treatment. They're actively being treated for this poisoning or adverse effect. The subsequent encounter means that they've been appropriately treated, but now they're coming back for follow-up care. It's just routine follow-up care. And then the last category or the last definition is sequelae. And sequelae is when there is a, you have a, a long-term effect 
that was caused by the poisoning or the adverse effects. So say it was a patient who had a drug overdose and now they have neurological defects as a result of their experience with this drug overdose. So the drug overdose caused some permanent brain damage or permanent neurological damage or permanent heart damage. That would be a sequelae. And let me interject here, um, just because I keep saying permanent, a sequelae does not have to be a permanent defect or a permanent condition. It can be temporary. And you, we'll get into how how you use these as we go through the slide presentation. All right, let's start with the poisonings for fentanyl. And um, there are one, two, three, four sets of codes for poisoning with fentanyl. And the first set is the accidental. That's the T40.411. And you notice I have an X there. That's just a placeholder that I put there. You would choose a seventh digit in the white box below, either A for the initial care, so when they're getting their active treatment, so in the ED, in the hospital, in the doctor's office, when they're first seen and they're beginning to get their care, they're getting their treatment for this. D would be they're coming back for routine follow-up, and S means they're coming back to be treated or they're being treated for something that happened as a result of this accidental poison. All right, self-harm, those codes are T40.412, and instead of the X, you will put an A, D, or S. Assault, T40.413, with an A, D, or S. And then undetermined, T40.414, and you'll use A, D, or S. Now, we're going to stop right here, and I'm going to show you how you go out to your code book. Or in my case, we're going to go to my encoder, which I use uh, Codify. And I'm going to show you how you can find this in your code book a lot easier than trying to remember this. Okay, so let's pop out to Codify and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so I'm in my Codify software. This is the software that I pay for from the AAPC. You guys can do this in your code book. So if you have your ICD-10 code book with you, what you want to do is flip to the section in the code book that's the index of drugs. So I'm going to do that here by pushing the little, going up to the top and pushing the little codify, and now pushing the coding button and hitting ICD-10, and then I scroll down to right here where it says drugs and chemical table. So I said that wrong. In your ICD-10 ICD code book, you're going to look for the drug and chemical table. So just click that button here in codify, but flip to it in your code book. Uh, we'll, we'll stay here and wait till you look it up. Okay, so once you get to your drug table, for me, I can just type in fentanyl. Hopefully I spelled it correctly. And there it goes. So as you can see, it took me straight to the drug fentanyl. And like I said, you can flip to this in your table in your book manually. And what, real quickly, I'm going to go through this table with you and show you how easy this is to do. Okay, so as you see, we're highlighted on fentanyl, and we go across, and it literally tells you, is it accidental? Is it intentional? Self-harm? Is it assault? Is it undetermined? And that's like, say the patient comes into the ED and they're completely, you know, unconscious and they, there's no one to give a history. We don't know how they got drugged. We can't assume that it was an accidental overdose. We can't assume that they were trying to commit suicide or that someone hurt them. We have to call that undetermined if we can't tell. And then the adverse effect, which we're going to talk about later, is in this column. And underdosing, which we're going to talk about later, is in this column. So that's how you do that. All right, adverse effects. Now, if you remember right, I defined adverse effect as the patient was given the drug appropriately and took it appropriately, but they still had an effect of it. So maybe they had a rash. Maybe it could be something very serious or something minor. It could be that maybe they had a, a rash from the drug. Maybe they had breathing problems. Maybe they got upset stomach, which is quite possible. Um, maybe they were vomiting. That's an adverse effect. So the drug was given correctly 
and it was taken correctly, it was prescribed correctly, but the patient had um, some kind of reaction from it. So the initial encounter is with the A, and the subsequent encounter is the T40.415 with a D, and the sequelae would be the T40.415 with a S. And we did see that. We'll go back out there in my messy little messiness here, but here it is, the adverse effect and the underdosing. And notice that they don't put the seventh digit in there. You need to know to add that seventh digit. And what you can do in the software is you can click on that link and it'll take you into it and then it'll into the uh, encoder and it'll tell you to add the seventh digit. If you're in your code book, you should never code from the drug table. What you'll do is you'll take this code, say you're doing the adverse effect, you'll take this code right here and then you're going to look that up in your um, in your table, in your tabular. So you're actually going to look this code up and then it's going to instruct you to add that seventh digit, okay? All right, so that's fentanyl. Oh, one more, sorry. We have the underdosing. And underdosing is just when the patient isn't given enough fentanyl. And I'm thinking fentanyl was is used in the ED. It's also used in the OR as an anesthetic. And it's quite possible, what if you were a patient and you have a high tolerance for fentanyl and you weren't given enough by accident um, in a surgery that could be, or in, during a procedure that could be very painful. But um, this is how you would code it. For the initial, you would do it T40.416 with A, with a D for subsequent, and an S for sequelae. Like I said, I don't, in, in charts, I don't see a lot of underdosing, but they do have the codes here in case we need them. All right, now we're going to move on to tramadol, and exactly the same stuff is going to apply. If it's accidental, you're going to use T40.421 with a seventh digit. If it's self-harm, you're going to use T40.422 with your self in seventh digit. If it's assault, you'll use T40.423 with a seventh digit. And if it's undetermined, you'll use T40.424 with a seventh digit. Now I'll take you out there and we will look this up. Okay, now, as you can see, it took us straight out to tramadol. That's the one highlighted. So for tramadol, it's this one right here. Accidental would be here. Like in, intentional would be here. Assault, undetermined, adverse effect an underdosing, which we hadn't got to in the slides yet. But as you see, once again, there's no seventh digit, so you will have to go out and add the seventh digit. All right, so here are the adverse effects ones. For the initial encounter, it would be T40.425 with the A. If it's an adverse effect and it's subsequent, it would be T40.425D. And if it's sequelae, it will be T40.425S. And here are the underdosing codes. For initial, T40.426A. Subsequent, T40.426D. And for sequelae, it would be T40.426S. And then we're going to move on to... Poisonings for other synthetic narcotics. So this will be narcotics that aren't otherwise specified. Accidental would be T40.41, oh, sorry, 491, and then you have your seventh digit. Self-harm would be T40.492 with the seventh digit. Assault would be T40.493 with an, an X, I mean with a seventh digit. And then undetermined would be T40.494 with a seventh digit. For your adverse effects, which once again means the patient was prescribed the medicine correctly, took it correctly, but still had an adverse effect, your initial would be 240.495A. Your subsequent will be T40.495D. 
and your sequelae would be T40.495S. For underdosing of other synthetic narcotics, the initial would be T40.496A, the subsequent would be T40.496D, and the sequelae would be T40.496S. That's a well, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you learned something. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you aren't already a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel. That really helps me out. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. It's good to have you again. We love all our subscribers here. And also, don't forget to ring the bell if you want to be notified by YouTube whenever I drop a new video. And as usual, if you have a comment or question, feel free to leave it in the comments field below the video, as well as you can email me at Angie at AngieTheCoder.com. I hope you guys have a fantastic fall, a spooky October, and a happy Halloween. Until next time.